November 28, November 28, when we see a riprap. When we see riprap, what's one of the things that we need to immediately, immediately think about doing? <laughs> Good morning, guys and girls. November 28, good morning. November 28, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please go in there and subscribe to this channel right now. We have a scripture from the Word of God every single day, a devotional built around fishing, and a fishing tip. Your life will get better. You can catch a better life without spending any money or anything. By the way, if you want a copy of this book, you can get it at jimmyhouston.com, Barnes & Noble, uh, just about anywhere books are sold. Just about anywhere books are sold. Hobby Lobby, Bass Pro, Cabela's, just about anywhere. November 28, we're looking at John 3.16. John 3.16. That's the verse you see them around at a lot of ball games. Somebody holding up a sign. It says John 3.16. John 3.16 says, Is there, everybody heard this? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but will have everlasting life. Here's what I wrote about that. Isn't it great that a bass's appetite is insatiable? That's right, they're insatiable. Sometimes our appetites are insatiable too. We get full, we keep on eating. But a bass doesn't have to be hungry to bite. That's a great thing. They don't have to be hungry to bite. They have what's called a reaction strike, a reaction strike. Something comes inside of their strike zone or close to it, they react by striking the bait. Many, many, many of the fish we catch, the bass are striking our bait, not intended, not needing anything to eat at all. They're full, yet they're striking that bait anyway. We have a reaction strike also. Our reaction to this most famous of all scriptures, probably the most famous scripture ever, determines what our lives will be like all our days here on earth and also throughout eternity. This verse describes what our life will be like here on earth and throughout eternity. Eternal life or everlasting life is mentioned around 50 times in the Bible. Pretty much one for every week. That's just in the New Testament alone. Just in the New Testament alone, it's all mentioned about 50 times. And it's speaking of a forever heaven. A forever heaven. That's what it's talking about. Not talking about a forever hell here. It's talking about a forever heaven. Now, if you don't accept this, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're going to be introduced to what's called a forever hell. But it's also talking about the life we get, live with God today, tomorrow, next week, next year, every single day as we walk on this earth. It's our lives here on this earth living God's Word. God's Word is a living Word. We live God's Word. It's a life here on earth living God's will. And it's living with all of the abundance that comes with it. All the abundance that comes with it. Can I tell you? God wants to give you an abundant life. And he wants to do it as quickly as possible. A super abundance. An abundant life. Full of joy. We need only believe in Jesus to have eternal life. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. In heaven. In heaven. What an incredible verse. We could write about John 3.16 forever. Talk about John 3.16 forever. But it's very, very simple. The gospel of Jesus Christ is simply that we recognize that we're a sinner. We believe his son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross, rose out of that grave three days later to conquer death. We believe in his son, Jesus Christ. We repent of our sins. We ask him to be our Lord and Savior. And we're saved. We're saved. We become one of those who shall not perish, but have everlasting life in heaven. Here's our tip today, talking about riprap. Never pass, never, ever pass a piece of riprap without fishing it. Fish will move on and off that riprap all throughout the day. Even if you stopped and fished that piece of riprap earlier in the day and you didn't catch anything, when you go by it again, oh, that's riprap, I think I'll go over and fish it. You can start on the points first. You don't catch any fish on the point, might not be any on down the riprap. But you want to fish on down maybe 50 or 100 yards anyway. Start on the points of the riprap, fish them every single solitary time. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I should do that.